So this one's going to be our newest one. It's not available yet. It will be available, uh, I think they say middle of next year, first quarter of February-ish, sometime time frame next year. So we're here at the Hoya Miles booth at RE Plus 2024. I'm here with Michael. I'm just going to have him introduce himself and then we'll go from there. Hello, my name is Michael Kratzer. I uh, work with Hoy Miles on the technical support side. Uh, I've been with Hoy Miles for a, a little over a year, about a year and five months now. So doing technical support and just helping out when I can. So can you tell me a little bit about the hybrid inverter and the battery? Yeah, so this is our uh, hybrid inverter 11.5 low voltage uh, version. Um, it's a string inverter. So you got your, this is your DTS. So this is your communication okay. um, for your monitoring. Um, you can put these in parallel. And then this is our, our 10 kilowatt battery down here. Um, which you can hook up to that as well um, for any of your storage or anything like that. So, and we can put eight of these together. Yep. You put it, so we can have a total of sixteen batteries. Yes. Okay. So we can build out a pretty pretty you large. Can, system. You can get you a pretty large system. Okay. So your LED. So this around here will be your battery charging. So zero to twenty five, twenty five oh, to fifty, okay. yeah. set fifty to seventy five, and then one hundred percent. And then obviously you can. Uh, this will be your when you're connected and what how it's working pv ac communication right. and then you'll get three blue lights here whenever your dts is connected to your internet okay so it's got several different um modes so you can do like an economical mode uh, you do time of use time of, time use, time of use mode so that's one of them as well and then a self-consumption mode okay as yeah. well so self-consumption mode will basically be you can kind of say hey i want my product my pv um, my my loads to get most of what's coming out of the out of this. So essentially, like an off grid. Yeah, thing. Okay. essentially. And then your 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 time, your your time frame one will you know basically peak hours, whatever's whenever you're getting more uh, kilowatt hours, you can say I want this to come out of my battery. So it'll okay. charge your battery first, and then once those peak hours come, it'll take it from the battery. And then once those peak hours, that time, that, that uh, kilowatt hours goes back down to, you know, 10 to 12 or whatever, right. then it'll start coming back out of your PV again. So can we feed the grid with this or is this you can. grid? So this is both direct. I can charge and I can feed back. Yep. Okay. All right. So this and is And then the a, grid can power some stuff inverter. as well. So it does DC coupled, AC coupled. You can do it either way. Okay. So if you already have a system that's AC, so if you have micro inverter system already, can you hook this to it? Yes. Okay. All right. So what is this uh, over here, the smart meter? Is this your alls or is this so, third party? This is a third party chimp meter. Okay. So it is, it is our smart meter. It allow you to ba basically, you put it on the grid side and it'll allow you to view your consumption. Your, your, your monitoring does the production itself already. So this will allow you to monitor your consumption, see what your state of charge is for your battery. Um, you can do all that through here. So is this Wi-Fi too? Uh, nope, it'll be hardwired okay. uh, up and, it, and we got diagrams so, so on our- feeds into the DTS? Is, Sorry? It, is this part of the DTS? Yep. Okay. So you got the, the top part of it here will go to the battery or to the inverter, and then you have the other the bottom part will go okay. to the DTS. So that DTS will tell, you know, this will tell the DTS what you're getting, what you're producing, what you're consuming as well. So you'll get all that information from okay. there too. So do, is the this where I see EV chargers? Is where we put the EV charger? Yep. In you can you can you can put that in there as well. So and that'll be a, a mode that you can set in there where it'll yep. Okay. In, in the settings and your advanced settings on your on your platform, your monitoring platform, where you can set it to an EV charge as well. So essentially, Hoy Miles is building out an ecosystem to have basically everything that you energy. can do, like a basically all, right. all in one type system. Yep. All right, cool. Let's go take a look at the microinverters. Okay, the inverter system already, and they wanted to add storage. You do this one. Oh, but well, this is the one I definitely want to talk about then. So because I already have the AC system. Yeah. So even if I had an in phase system, I can still correct this up. Okay. Yep. Just so. How does this work? Do I just put an AC uh, disconnect switch and hook the hook yes. straight in? Yep. So, I mean, basically kind of almost the same as wiring up that hybrid that we talked about before. Okay. In the sense of, you know, having those in inverters already attached. They've got wiring diagrams for you as well. You just wire it up, connect it all up. You got your same battery here, 10 kilowatts for your storage. Um, and, it, and it will work with any existing PV system. So seamless integration um, for that. And then we got monitoring as well. So, so is this basically a controller? Is what this is? Uh, basically, kind of? yeah. Okay. So, right, so we feed the AC into it, charge the batteries, and this just feeds into our essential loads. Yes. Okay. All right. Yep. From there. So. And then here we have the four and one. We'll look at this problem. Yep. A HMS two thousand four to one. It's our single phase. Yeah. Um, for most of your residential situations where someone might want to add some storage to it, yeah. that's what be on the roof already, and that's a four to one. Um, and I did a review on this in one of my videos probably last year, so this looks familiar. That's that's a very popular one. I mean, we're primarily a residential 
yeah. is what we sell mostly. Um, so this one's very popular. It's very good bang for your buck. You yeah. get a lot of power out of it. The for, cheapest method to go, right? Yes. Four and one. Yep. Okay, yeah. So up to a 670 watt panel, well, can it be attached to it? So your input DC voltage range, 16 to 60 volts. Okay. Kind of the same thing. I mean, this is our the same HMS version as what was on that AC couple wall. Yep. Single phase, you got your DTUs, but um, this will show us our, our flex cabling system here. So, so that, I have a question about that because this cable and this cable. So what's the difference? Why, why is this one called the flex versus the, the is this the older cable? So this is this one will go to your your uh, single phase because oh, this, this is, is a three the, pin. That's yeah. for the three yeah, phase with okay. the five pin. I was like, yeah, that's so, different than what I have. Yeah, that's okay. just a little bit bigger, but I mean, you, it's just all plug and play. You just yeah, I love that system. And then you got your disconnect tool yeah. right here. You can just plug it in there. Make sure you don't want it to come loose. But yeah. And then we make prefab cables. So if you need a different length, two meters, four meters, you can just plug it in and you can do your extension. Extension If you need longer between uh, runs, just extend a four meter to a two meter or whatever your situation may be. Uh, Trying to get, it's just faster. I mean, it's 70% faster installation time yeah, okay. is what most people are, are communicating to us from that. Yeah. So let's talk about the single and then we'll just kind of move down the line yeah. down there. So single phase, this is the one-to-one. -one. Um, for us, so um, 500 uh, volts uh, output for that, and then you got your two to two to one thousand, and then the four to one um, is the two thousand. So um, they're all about the same spec wise. Obviously, just a little bit lower uh, PV module that can go on once. I mean, this is close to a 500 output, or right? No, 475. 475. That's much larger than anything I've seen on the market. I'm actually going to be using this one. I think this was 950. Yeah, 950. So yeah. So yeah, you're getting a lot of output. 1918. <laughs> yeah. So you're getting a lot of output for the inverters for the price that they are, and the solution for, like I said, the connecting it's very easy, very easy to disconnect, very easy to put together, very quick. Um, we got installation guides, you know, to help you out if you don't know exactly what's That's going good. on. We yeah. we we provide all that stuff for you as well. This is gonna. I think. For me, the clip, I'm having a clipping problem where mine max out at 295 <laughs> and I have 370 uh, okay. panels, so I'm clipping a lot. But some people say it's healthy. I don't really want to see a lot of clipping, but we can go up to, you said 670 watts on these? On, yeah, on your on your bigger one. On the bigger one. On the bigger one. It's mainly for your small commercial, it's our three phase. Yeah. So same concept, I mean, it kind of has this. This one, the main difference is obviously you got your five wire yeah. um, connection, but your MC4s are the same. The outputs pretty close to the same, I believe. They're not 1918. Yeah. Um, it's just 208 volts, so three phase. You can do your delta, you can do your Y wiring with it. Um, but this one will do your power balancing on its own. Whereas you can use this for a three phase system if you wanted to. It's a grid profile update, but then you would have to make sure your strings or balance themselves when you put it together. So each of your out, your input current has to be the same between your strings. For this one, you oh, have to do it manually, nice okay. whereas this one will do it automatically for you. Okay. And then will this actually hook to the new combiner box or yep. just, just for these over here? So that, all of them they, they'll can connect to it. So all of these HMS use the sub 1G okay. and then so does the HMT, um, which the DTU plus in the combiner box is um, with that sub 1G. Okay. Um, so you got your, it also comes with a meter as you can see in there. So you can use that in there and then you got up to five two pole yeah. input circuits that you can I use like on there. A lot. So, and then you have your main breaker disconnect right there. So what are these 20 or 25 amp? I think they're, uh, tw I think they're 20. 25? Oh, 20? I think they're okay. 20. So you have a total, yeah, 80. 80. Yep. So is this Wi Fi too or is this hardwired? Uh, that's DTU. four. I believe that one's 4G. 4G. So the DTU Plus is a 4G. So how does that work? Because yeah, there is a. I see it down here. Yep. So how does that work? Do I have to buy a service for that? No. So it comes with a five-year service with it already. Oh, it does. So yeah, it's all built in. It's an international. Um, the SIM cards most of them are international. So it, the frequency band that it works with is pretty much compatible with every Verizon, T-Mobile that you see around here in this area. Okay. Um, and it you just you know basically an upgrade upgrade the system. Um, upgrade your software and then connect it and it's it's 
So you don't even have to have Wi-Fi. I mean, you don't have to have Wi-Fi or internet connection. This is all just simple. correct. Yep, okay. it just it works 4G. all that way for four G, just like your phone does okay. with four G. You don't have to be on the Wi-Fi for that. Okay. Well, let's talk about the actual app. We're talking about Wi-Fi and yeah, all that good stuff. So, I was playing around with this a little bit earlier, but can you explain how what type of things that I can actually see here? Sure. So, I mean, most of your stuff will will start on the uh, the dashboard. So when you open it up, it'll tell you. Um, ours updates on a 15 minute increment. Okay, so every 15 minutes you'll get an update of what your production is at that time. Okay. Um, and then you'll have a total so you can do um, your consumption for the day as well. So you can do a time frame so you can see it'll adjust it up in there at 2.67 at, you know, at that time. Sorry. Um, 2.8 kilowatts at 4.15. It'll go that way and you could do week month as well and then obviously year total and you can even go to your billing cycle All right. so um, this is just kind of a the darker the, the the shade is the more you produce that day the lighter it is so it just kind of gives you a monthly rundown and then this is kind of all your information right there. Can we see individual panels on here? Yes too? so you are on your layout you do have module level uh, monitoring so you can see here module level you are able to click on a module and it will tell you basically all your information where the location is the DTU that's connected to it um, on your app you'll be able to see especially on the installer app um, you'll be able to see PV voltage uh, PV current uh, grid voltage the temperature of the inverter you'll be able to see all that when you click on um, that specific module and you can do that for you know each individual one well that's awesome so basically this is the same as the, I mean, both yeah. are the same. same yeah, app. they're the same. We also do have a desktop version, which it looks a little bit different, but it's the same concept. Okay, all right, cool. Um, and then you can, the device list here, so you got your DTU and then all your micros that are um, oh, yeah. all connected to that DTU. You can see um, what generation they are. You can see here, you got some Gen 3 uh, micros and then a Gen 2 micro, and it's all connected to that DTU Pro. Uh, most of the ones that we've talked about already are just your Generation 3 uh, micro inverters. So you'll have a DTU Pro S. Um, in that slot then you got your hardware version grid profile so like I mentioned you can do a three phase um, on a single phase yeah. but it's just a grid profile update so you can go in there pick your grid profile for your your three phase apply it and then it'll go to your 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 inverter itself All right. so when you click on that you'll be able to view which grid profile is associated to that inverter as well um, when you go to your your action list and that little wrench there to your device maintenance tab you can see which software version is applied to your DTU and each of one of your individual microinverters as well. Gives you a lot of information, right? So it does. And then obviously you can, if you have any issues or something, you can call our technical support line and we can upgrade uh, microinverters for you. If, you know, and we can check on the back end if you're having any issues and see what may be causing that and if we need to apply a grid profile. So if you're having VW functions, volt watt functions where your, your voltage is getting too high, we can set a grid profile where, where it won't lower your production if something like that happens. And what is the warranty on your micro inverters? 25. 25 years? Yep, 25 years. And then it's, I think it's, uh, I think it's three years on the DTUs. Three years. So we don't need this DTU if we're using the combiner box. Correct, you do not. I'm a big fan of the combiner box. Yeah, I mean, it's I a centralized location where everything yeah. comes together. So, yeah, you don't need the DTU if you have the combiner box because it has one and a meter built into it. So you can do all the monitoring um, for your consumption and stuff with that combiner box when you plug them together. Is this available now for purchase? Yes. It is. So this one's going to be our newest one. It's not available yet. It will be available, uh, I think they say middle of next year, first quarter of February-ish, sometime time frame next year. Um, but it's our newest one, so you can see how small it is. It's in size, it's very comparable to your in-phase one. Yeah. Um, but you can see here it's 2.43, so uh, we, we took off about 35% of the weight mm -hmm. by going from the double insulated enclosure with the plastic yeah. as opposed to the metal that you saw on the other ones. Um, you still have the same, uh, you got your peak efficiency there of 97.5 and, and your CEC efficiency of 97% still. Um, still the same DC input current of 16 amps, but on this one you can still go up to that 760 watt. You got uh, 16 to 65 volt uh, DC input on, on these. The one to one is available, and then we also have the two to one as well that will be available um, in February.
Are so, you going to be doing a four to one on this one? I, I think they are. They're still working out the logistics of because you can see the the aesthetics of it's a little bit different than your other ones. So they're still trying to figure out how they want the aesthetics to look on the four to one, as opposed to the like the side mounting. Yeah, I'll okay. say one big one big thing that me as technical support love about this one is, and I don't know if you can look at it here, but right under that DC input, yep. that little light, that LED. On your other ones, it's on the bottom side of it, on your roof side. So you have to lift up your panel, lift up the oh. inverter, and that'll give us some information, whether it's blinking green or red, or tell us uh, kind of what's going on if you're getting that grid voltage or not. Yeah. Being on the side will be a lot easier a lot for installers better. to yeah, be able is. to just peek under there and see what the light's doing instead of having to lift up panels. So we do have, um, this is the size of it. You do have a, an adapter like this, so it can fit on the module itself. But we also, if you have a rail system, we have an adapter where you can adapt it to this and put it on your rail system as well. But this just simply just slides in here. Clips in. And then slides over like that. That's awesome. So, and then obviously your DC inputs to that. And it's easy as, it, easy as that. Just checking it off. It's that simple. That's awesome. Hey, I appreciate the time. Hey, Thanks no for No problem, Justin, around. man. Have a good one. All right, you too.